All right, so let's talk about modules. Now, I want to eventually get into the, the more sophisticated elements of the Match 3 module, but take us through a very simple module so that we understand how they're constructed uh, so that we know what we're looking at and how we can put those things together ourselves moving forward. Yeah. And for the average user, um, you know, importing this module, they don't need to necessarily know all the inner workings of how um, the module is put together. But what they do need to know are the different behaviors or functions that you can call from the module. So we're going to look at this first person perspective module, which is this uh, hallway here. Um, you know, relatively simple. Um, it requires uh, one of the other libraries from the package directory, the effects library, and we're simply uh, using that to kind of shake the hallway when uh, a user gets hurt. Um, but for the most part, uh, it's got one function that you need to call, which is new, which all it does is load all the different images off the, um, off the um, storage of the device. Um, also our hallway here, if I can reset it a few times, you notice it constantly switches colors. Um, and this is just from a uh, hue effect being applied to the, the hallway image. So that gives us something that looks different every time that we use it. It loads up the wall pieces here, um, as well as the door. Um, and then we just have a few simple functions, right? So a function of showing the hallway, uh, which is kind of, places it on the screen and puts it there. And then we have this instance exit, which is allows you to exit the hallway. And that is that animation that'll play here when I match three keys of the door opening up, um, the wall getting bigger and giving you that feeling that you're walking through that door. And you can see this is really just, you know, um, three simple transitions um, uh, that are moving those things out. So there's really nothing here that's uh, too big. But by going through and replacing these graphics, you could make it a dungeon, you could make it a cave, you could make it anything you kind of wanted to uh, that would give you that same ability. Um, and it would be easy for us to add uh, other behaviors to it, like turn left, turn right, which would give you the ability to kind of uh, pretend like as if the camera was moving left and right and giving the user a little bit more control over what direction they wanted to go. Um, oh, we do have another uh, behavior, which is shake. Um, that happens when the user gets hurt. Um, I don't know if it'll happen here, but, um, and that just shakes all the individual pieces. And this cause, uh, calls that FX module to shake the individual pieces inside the, uh, inside the hallway module. Okay, so, so if you would, go ahead and collapse all your code there. Can you, can you do that? Yeah. Um, just want to. So, I just want to give people an idea. I want. I want them to see kind of like this, because uh, uh, when you look at each each one of the functions there, each one of uh, you know, it, it definitely is not scary because, like as you said, there was only three transitions within um, that, that one function, right? And and so that's that kind of breaks it down. So as, as we look at these at these functions, so if you would yeah, even collapse the new there, just so we can we can talk about that. collapse. That's going to collapse. Everything. Oh, it collapses everything, right? Okay. So, so there's really so, only one new module, and basically, and this gives you uh, you know this idea of an instance, right? So we create an instance out of this module, which is a new display group, which we're going to stick everything in. And we're going to return that instance um, uh, from this new function. So just, to, I mean, exactly what you're expecting if you were just to load a single image. Um, uh, you're going to get this display group back that has X and Y properties, scale properties. You can do kind of anything with it, but it also has these uh, functions associated with it, um, except for the finalized function, which is just something that will kill those transitions just in case... Um, um, the images gets deleted before the transitions are finished. Um, you have, you know, you know, basically a relatively simple, um, you know, you have, uh, three pieces, um, you know, three images getting loaded up and ins inserted inside that display group. Um, so relatively simple, but it makes for, um, you know, a pretty interesting effect. Um, and something that you don't have to worry about, you know, these, what, 60 lines of code living inside your main Lua file or living inside your game scene um, and kind of junking it up in there so you're not quite knowing exactly what's going on at the right time. You get something that's relatively simple um, um, inside your uh, group uh, or inside your uh, game Lua, which is, hey, hallway exit uh, creates that animation. 
one of the other interesting pieces of doing something through modules and having it be instanced um, is we're using the same code actually twice. So once I call the hallway exit here that plays that exit animation, I'm actually calling a new hallway right after it. And that allows that last hallway um, to kind of be loaded up um, while the first hallway is transitioning off. Uh, so there's actually multiple instances of that hallway playing at the same time. So essentially, you're creating a, a new instance of the module, initializing, loading up any sort of um, um, assets, visual assets that need to be in place, and then any sort of functionality that you want to build, you're building it out in those individual um, uh, functions that you can say, you know, like you were saying, turn left or show or, or hide or, or any of that kind of stuff like that. So it's fairly easy to reason about and uh, self-contained so that you can take that and drop it into another project. Absolutely. And we could even put in um, uh, when our hallway is being created here, it would be very simple to um, do a hallway shake. And that should make that hallway. Oh, get a, I get a, you get, a, get an L in there. So, so, so much for typing. <laughs> um, and you can see our hallway shakes now uh, when that first level gets loaded. Nice. Uh, and since we created this kind of hallway out of three separate images, when you see the shake happen, um, every piece of it shaking a little bit differently, which makes it a little, uh, a little more disconcerting for the end user. Um, and the same shake happens when uh, the monsters attack the user. So if you would go back to the first person perspective uh, uh, Lua file and let's look at the, uh, so, so you show, I think you uh, go to show the module, the show module. Oh, yeah or a method or a function there. Uh, you said that's like three, a couple of transitions. Um, yeah, so the show is what happens uh, when the module first loads up. So let's do... Yeah, I was just going to point out that that's, that's only a few lines of code and it only does very specific thing and then, you know, just kind of show them the other functions to say that, you know, these are the yeah. sort of the same things. Yeah, so show basically transitions um, uh, the original hallway up, and that's what happens when I make a match here. Let me bring this key up. Um, you can see that the hallway that's gonna show underneath is coming forward a little bit as well, and that's the show function brings it forward a little bit. Uh, the exit function um, is that exit routine, uh, which opens up the door and transitions the hallway towards the user. Um, and then um, the shake routine we've talked about, um, and then the finalize is more just kind of internal. Um, in fact, with uh, transition 2.0, you probably don't even need this function anymore. That the transition would self cancel if the uh, um, um, you know when the images are disposed of. So basically, though, I mean, looking at each one of those things, it's really not that scary. Uh, and the concept of building a module uh, is pretty straightforward. Uh, you just need. Uh, to be able to create an instance of it and then add the methods that you want in order to do the things that you want to do. So, and then, and then within each one of those methods, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be overly complicated. It can be uh, just a few lines of code in order to do what you want to do.